I'm gonna sell you on it right now. This is gonna be the reason you buy it. This is why everyone needs it in this moment. I'm gonna show you why it's worth like $500 plus. Hello, my name is Kelsey O'Connor and welcome to my channel. I've been that person for many years, AKA the person that always has an activity tracker. I own AirPods, I hate myself. But you might ask, Kelty, why do you feel the need to spend this money on a watch when you have the time on your phone? Great question. I'm about to tell you and let you know if it's worth the stupid price tag I purchased on Apple products and hence I live in a shoe box. <laughs> because I spent rent on a watch. Quick timeline of my activity tracky lifespan. Four years ago, I got a Fitbit. It was great at the time, except I got super obsessive with it because there's competitions you can do against each other. And then I just found myself like, I'm really competitive. So I was like, oh, you got, you're gonna get 20,000 steps? Watch me get 40,000. It's not a really mentally healthy place to be. Then did that for a year and was like, you know what, you, you need to expand your horizon from steps. So I got this bad boy. This is an Apple Watch 2. You will see footage of it. I did unboxing reviews of it back in the day. It's now broken. I shattered, can you see? Right there. Okay, oh, you didn't come across it? No, I slammed my drunkenly hand against the bottom of the bar and cracked my Apple Watch. <laughs> After having a cracked Apple Watch for a year, I decided you went Kelty. You save up, you buy yourself one of these bad boys. So now I have the new one. It looks like, ooh, this is Apple hypnotizing you, you would buy an Apple Watch. I bought one of these bad boys. This is the new one, the Apple Series 4. I had the stainless steel in the gold color, even though it's kind of coppery, it threw me off. I got this one because I do wear it every day, so I have a capsule wardrobe, so I'm okay with spending money on this. This one is on the expensive end, so I wanted it to look better, so I can wear casual outfits, because this always looks like an Apple Watch. You become that person. You're all dressed up in a cute dress and then you're like, but fitness. <laughs> so what we're gonna talk about using as activity tracker, we're gonna talk just general Apple Watch thing about Bob's, the pros of it and the cons of it and then whether you should get it. So the premise of the activity side because the fitness channel, we'll talk about that. There's a three rings, there's your move ring, your exercise and your stand. So your move is like how many calories you burn a day. Usually the average person will burn anywhere from like a thousand to two thousand calories a day if they just sat. And then the move is like any extra movement in the day that would cause more calories burned. So that is the first one, the big red loop. Then there's the green one in between. It's your exercise. So you can burn calories from movement without exercise. Um, and then that's usually, they like have a preset goal of 30 minutes. And then there's your stand. So it's just pretty much a really annoying feature that when you're sitting and doing a bunch of computer work, it's like, oh, stand. You probably won't, but you should because you should stand a lot. But yeah, that's pretty much the premise there. There's different activities. A lot of you guys ask the different activities. So let's take a peek. So it's obviously, you can track just an open goal and open-ended. You can do hiking, you can do flexibility, indoor cycle, outdoor walk, bar, cross training, yoga, indoor walk, outdoor walk, boxing, outdoor cycle, indoor run, elliptical, rower, stair stepper, hit, pool swim, open water swim, core training, functional training, basketball, tennis, jump rope, strength training, dance. And then yeah, those are your options you can track. And like, if they're one of those, like for example, a spin, would be more specific calories burned for a spin versus just like an open workout. I'll let you guys ask what my move goal is. It's at a thousand. Now that's excessively high, but if you guys know me, I'm constantly doing challenges. So I just found I get to a thousand quite often, maybe like three to six times of the week. Um, so I just set it because it was just a pretty number versus like 800, I don't know, 750. It just seemed like I was like a thousand. But it's a cool thing that you can do that. You can like set a calorie goal and then you've got the little achievements you can get if it, you just won't say it. And that's kind of nice, a way to like build up just moving just try not to get too calorie focused if you do it that way mine is waterproof they're not all waterproof i wouldn't wear this one in the water because it's metal i put this band on when i'm going in the water of course if you crack it it'll no longer be waterproof weight training's in this is not accurate for weight training i say this is not actually accurate for counting calories it, you don't know there's like a good equation it's kind of a rough idea but it's just going to track your heart rate and sort of acceleration and all that I just kind of like the calorie tracking just because it gives you an idea if you're being like way more active than normal or way less. So if you're suddenly like way more active, you might have to eat more. Or if you've been way more sedentary, maybe eat a little less to maintain your weight. Or if you're just trying to lose weight, just try moving more and keeping your diet the same. And that's kind of nice. Use it as just like a gauge. Don't be like, I need to do this and this and that and this and this. 
And then there is running apps. There's a running app you can use that, but there's Strava, Nike running app, which are really popular ones a lot of people tend to use if you want to get into running and you want a fun way to track it and have a bit more of a community base. The battery life I find for these are only usually 24 hours. So it's just frustrating if you were to wear it in bed, you can use it, but then you have to get up and charge it. So I just don't use it. I just use like an app on my phone to track sleep if I ever want to. You can track steps. And then one nice feature for it is you can track water, which is the essence of beauty. Which is really cool. So you can just kind of have it like you can get little apps like water tracker and you just go boop, boop. And or you can fill a ring similar and have that. So it's a good little mental cue if you don't drink enough water. So general, in terms of smartwatches, I really do like it. My most used application is I guess the activity tracker. Honestly, the most used I have is just the watch face. I just like that, like it shows me the time, which I use, and I use a hack. I use it for jet lag. So if I know I'm gonna be going somewhere, I change it to where I'm gonna be going a couple days beforehand, but I still have the actual time, so I don't show up late for places, but it gives me a mental cue. Then I have the weather, and then just my activity track, and then the actual time. You'd be shocked, I actually do use it to tell the time, which I kind of like, because it forces me to be on my phone less which is another pro. A lot of people are like, are you tired that you're always connected? Like you always have something. It actually helped me be less connected to my phone. The best example is when I go out with friends, if I'm at a dinner or a bar or anything, I always have my phone in my purse for the most part. I never really feel the need to leave it on the table, which I feel can just become that habit of constantly grabbing it because I get notifications. And so I get the notification and yeah, I take a, I see the little glance, but I just find it's not as enticing to answer it because in essence I'm out, I'm out with friends, I see it's not an emergency and I just don't deal with it. But that's the kind of nice thing as I find it just allows me to be connected but not have my phone and so I won't be replying. You can reply on this but it's annoying so I don't. <laughs> if you want to, it's got like preset ones or you can use Siri but uh, I just choose not to. I like it for calorie challenges, that's kind of fun. I did a whole video with my friend Justin. It's kind of just like a goofy thing if you've got long distance friends like me, I guess it's something you can do. The fun thing about it is that when you share with someone it will send you a notification when they finish a workout and you have a preset response you can send them and they're really weird. Quite odd. We both have Apple Watches. If you guys don't have an Apple Watch, you can share your progress with other people. We're, I guess, Apple Watch friends. Every time you finish a workout, Apple Watch will send your workout stats to your friend. And if you scroll down, it gives preset responses to your friend's workout. I don't know an Apple who comes up with these ideas. Some are just really lame like this or like this. Or like this, or like this. Um, some are actually kind of funny, like this one, or this one. And some make absolutely no sense, like this, or this. I don't know what Apple who thought of this one. Another pro is like, you become so cool. You become one of the people, like guys. Steve Jobs is my hero. Just kidding, it's really embarrassing. But not, but like, oh, it's just so, oh, why did they get me? <laughs> Such a sucker for Apple products. But really what I mean is you can get music on the go, which is nice. Another way to get off your phone is you can listen to music with your AirPods on this. It is nice if you're going on a run. It's a good way if you want to leave your phone behind. And that, and I do like it's kind of an emergency thing for females at least, especially, is I know if my phone ever were to die at the bar or I got lost, I do like that I still have all my friends' numbers and that on here. That's something I do really like is like a backup and just kind of a bit of a safety thing because guys, no one remembers phone numbers anymore. <laughs> you lose your phone, you're hooped. I guess another thing, randomly throughout the day, it reminds you to breathe, which is good. Because apparently our phones do so much for us. If we don't have our phones and technology, we'll forget to breathe. <laughs> but really, it is nice everyone's all a bit, <sighs> but most of the time we just get really stressed and I'm like, I don't have time to breathe right now. <laughs> and it stresses me more. So I guess that's more of a con, but breathe. I do like the weather. It's just like another thing. It's a way to just be off your phone. Just quickly, like just, it's so easy. It's just like, bam, 27 degrees Celsius. Just like that. Cons, and these are kind of cons or like just features that they try and sell you on. They're actually stupid. Siri, do you know how embarrassing it is? Like when you're like, oh Siri, please call someone. It's already kind of douchey to do it on here, but to do it on your watch, like no, I've only used Siri once in public on my watch and it was because it was a trivia game and we weren't allowed to have our phones out and I cheated. It was a Harry Potter trivia in Colin. So I had my phone, they were all tucked away and I was like, Siri, what house is Harry Potter in? It's obviously Gryffindor. I'm a Harry Potter fan, I know that, but it was a harder question.
Only time I've ever used Siri on the watch is the cheetah trivia. <laughs> Except for that, I've never used it because you look really, really lame. Sorry for everyone I just triggered. I love you. Another feature you can use to answer calls. By answer calls, I mean decline calls. I've never answered a call once on this. It is a feature you can use. The only time I do it is because my phone is in my pocket and then someone calls. I'm like, nope, not answering that. Uh, so I guess it's kind of a pro, but it's in the opposite sense. In that it's not like a, oh guys, yeah, let's have a little chit chat. This is like spy kids. <laughs> Another con, you start to feel naked without it, which is really concerning. First of all, you know that like sense of when your phone's vibrating but it's not on you, but you still sense it? That's already messed up in her mind. I don't have my Apple watch on and I'm constantly like, oh, why, why? like I ignore calls because I haven't felt the vibrate on my wrist. And yeah, and you're just out and you just like catch yourself being like, when it's not there, and it's just another thing. Apple and Facebook is slowly but surely controlling our lives. And by slowly, I mean we're already there. Another con, people start to compliment you on it and you know they're one of the Apple people and then you start a conversation. And I know that sounds like a great conversation starter, but it's like, oh, I see you have an Apple watch. You must be into fitness. Oh my God, what generation is yours? Like, oh cool, I like your watch. Like, like what's your favorite feature? And then I just feel like the biggest D-bag in the world. Oh, hi guys, here's my Apple watch. Yeah, I know my favorite features, but so that like I'm just not connected to the world. And there's just like, I just can't be bothered with having my phone out, and oh my God, yes, it's, it's a club I'm a part of. If you don't have an Apple watch, you will never understand. Um, peasants, <laughs> you have a fossil watch for a hundred dollars, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, so you become one of those people. So yeah, that's kind of my thing with my Apple Watch. I really do like it, but I'm gonna sell you on it right now. This is gonna be the reason you buy it. This is why everyone needs it in this moment. I'm gonna show you why it's worth like $500 plus. <sighs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not even kidding, guys. The amount of satisfaction this gives me when I show it off to people, I don't even care. And then whenever I have to use it, ready for this? We're gonna hold this right here. Beeping. Yes, yeah, so you know when you lose your phone, you're like, where is it? Oh, it's over there. Literally worth every penny in that moment. The amount of times I was in dark room, you have three beers in you. Yeah, guys, that's worth it right there. But in all jokes aside, this one and this one, there's like next to no difference. This one just looks a little fancier. If you tend to move a lot more in high school, when you go to college, you sit more about studying. So it's kind of nice. It will encourage you to move a bit more. If you have a desk job, it's gonna encourage you to move a bit more, which I do like. The price tag is obnoxious. One of those things, if you're first time having it, just start with the basic one. I had this one for so many years and it worked great until I broke it. And you can get them cheap, you can get them used. I'd say that if you're an Apple loyalist and you're, you know, I, I got to the point that I knew I was never not wearing it. So that is why I purchased this. I knew I'd have it for a long time and I wanted it to look a bit better with my outfits when I wore it, even though I wear Lulu every day. So I don't know why I act like I wear fancy clothes or go to a desk job. But I do think that is a nice thing. I, most importantly, I know I joked around about it. It actually has helped me disconnect a lot from my phone because I think unfortunately our generation, especially in my job, I do have to be on my phone a lot. I do have to have access, there's work calls, all that. But when I'm out with friends, I can have my phone put away and without having such a need to pull. So it's a nice little transition to get away from your phone and a constant pull towards it because you kind of have it on here. I know it's still on here. I'm just, that's what I found. And I like it. There's some of those features, tracking water, movement. It's good. You can use it to read text messages, Twitter, things like that. I think it's below some of the garments and all that. It's about the Fitbits. It's kind of in between. It's nice that it's just like an everyday wear and it connects to your phone and you can listen to music and be a douchebag and have air pause and it's it's one of those like oh it's so simple but it just makes life so much easier in some weird ways why is this my life why is this this is i live in a shoe box kelty why do you live in a shoe box you have no furniture well i've got a computer and we've got this and this and this is this why has this become our generation what well, do you know how embarrassed my mother would be to live in this but i've got a watch an ipad i use just to watch netflix and draw. Thank you for tuning in. Like always, if you guys have any other challenges, fitness challenges, tech reviews you'd like me to do, obviously I'm not a tech review channel, but I just come from your average girl who likes working out. So if you want things like that, whether it be phones, what's on my phone, this is this is AirPods, this is my phone, AirPods, you know what I mean? Uh, let me know, comment down below. I'd be happy to do that. Throw a like if this helped you in any way. If you guys like these sit down videos of me just 
reviewing things or just comment below. They killed this was awful. <laughs> Never review another piece of technology again because this did not serve the world. Hit subscribe if you did enjoy this or if you just want to see other more fitnessy things and uh, those challenges and more inspirational, which I tend to be. Uh, this is not. <laughs> and most importantly, have a great day. Go pet a dog. Thanks for tuning in. Love you guys. Bye.